Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Geek Girl Claire with another amazing, to me, a mini 4WD video. Today we're going to be talking about those clear decals that are on certain kits such as the Neo VQS Japan Cup 2020 kit. So the decals here, this is a polycarbonate body that was initially clear that I painted on the underside with silver paint and then applying these very thin layered decals you have to get these on so precisely such that if any little dust or hair underneath the decals, they'll show up immediately. Sometimes, um, since this, this canopy part is in four sections, here's window this side, window that side, the top window, and this little tiny window on top. Sometimes when you're layering these things, there's a little overlap. And when you're trying to get this smooth, sometimes you get a little bubble effect along the way. So it doesn't, it's not completely smooth like you see here. This is completely smooth. Now, what kind of magical sorcery did I use to get this to be completely smooth? Before it was like all bumpy and stuff. And I found a secret method that I use that professional body shops use in order to apply decals on cars. What do they do that's so amazing? The secret is heat. So, by using basically a hair dryer, a pretty high intense hair dryer, you could heat up the decals. So aim directly at the decals with the bumps on them, and then as you're, as you heat up the thing for about 10 seconds, you move the heat source away, and then with your fingertip, you smooth out the surface and keep smoothing it out. And you have to do this again and again and again. Alternate between holding the hair dryer for 10 seconds, removing the heat source, and then smoothing out any bumps along the decal surface. So, do this enough times, you'll get a pretty smooth surface. So on the other side, this was very bumpy before, but I managed to smooth it out using the heat source and my finger rubbing along the sides. So I was able to get a smoother surface. So now you see there, this was like really, really bumpy before, but it's much smoother now. So it's not as good as the other side. The other side, just because of the way this decal laid and this decal laid on top of it, it's a lot smoother on this side than on this side. This side, there was a bit more overlap, so that's why there is more bumpy surfaces along the way. But I was able to get all of those very, very big bumps into much smaller bumps. And if I continue to do this process again and again, using this heat to shrink these thin, clear decals. This, these are basically clear decals that they give you in the Neo VQS Japan Cup. Clear decals that have uh, images on them. So they're a thinner material than your typical decals, which are more like stickers. So with this one, you have to really be very careful applying them. Even if you get a fingerprint on it, you'll be able to see it on the decal. That's how, that's how sensitive these decals are. So you have to be very careful applying them. Use your tweezers, take a lot of time and patience to apply these decals on. So previously, if you've seen my Japan Cup 2020, I didn't have the canopy on there. I decided finally like to, to add this canopy and put this little keep on running sticker on the back of it. So that's about it. I don't want to add on too many of these items here because that's going to be like, it's to me it's going to be like too much going on on, on this thing. Plus I like a more Spartan look with my racers. So here we go. This is um, the tip of the day. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, then please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and you'll see more videos just like this one. Now remember, I'm not a professional racer. I'm just an enthusiast, but I have a lot of good knowledge for all of the newbies and up-and-coming racers out there. So until next time, everybody, see ya. Bye.